Bonjour, firecrackers. Welcome back. I've been traveling for two months and I am exhausted. So it's time for some relaxation in Paris. Hey guys, I arrived in Paris, in the Paris airport right now. I'm on the hunt for something good to eat and stumbled upon this beautiful restaurant. I fell in love with the decor, which made me feel like I was having high tea with royalty. Everything was so dreamy. I pay exacting attention to details. And this was the perfect place to rest my weary soul. The food hit the spot, and the presentation was spectacular. My bill even came in a branded sleeve. How amazing is that? Just when I thought I had seen it all, I was encouraged by the waiter to check out the pastries. Look at these beautifully designed desserts. And then there were the macarons. Vibrant colors, amazing flavors ranging from coffee to pistachio. I was sold. Where can I buy shares into this company? Some macarons for Shirley, my host in Paris. <laughs> and something fruity maybe? Yeah, that would be great. Merci beaucoup. Thank you very much. <laughs> ciao, ciao. Just had a wonderful lunch at Maison La Durie. <laughs> now it's off to Shirley's. Hey guys, I made it safely to this beautiful soul. Shirley, look at her. So gorgeous. It's our first, well, my first day out in Paris and it's pretty rainy. But it's so beautiful. Just how I imagined it. So Shirley's gonna take me around and show me what it's like to live in the heart of the city. So that's your first challenge, to cross the road with all these cars. It's really busy. Let's We're running! Ah! Shirley's gonna get me killed in Paris, guys. <laughs> it reminds me a lot of New York. It's very busy. It's not the busiest area then. No? no? Oh, we're in the area near Moulin Rouge, guys. Yeah. The, the famous... Kichi, kichi, ya ya, ta ta. <laughs> the city of Paris has a population of about 12 million. I found it really fascinating that about 6 million Parisians were buried in catacombs under the city's streets. They were transferred there gradually between the late 18th and mid 19th centuries as graveyards were being closed because of the risk they posed to public health. Paris is also known as the capital of fashion. I can definitely see why. Check out her style. You go, girl. Ooh, what you got there, Shirley? I got macaron la durée. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know. prestige, huh? Is it? I just saw it and I thought it would be such a nice little gift. Welcome to our get together. A few of Shirley's family and friends came by to enjoy a traditional French meal called raclette. First, we had great conversation and libations. Let's learn about the tradition. So this is saucisson rosette. Typically French, like what we eat all the time. Here you have. I'm not really into ham, so it's uh, dab. I can't remember how you do it. Turkey, turkey, turkey. Like, it smells like ass. <laughs> that smells. Like, but it doesn't taste like... Oh my god! So is this prosciutto or no? no this is, is palm. Palm, okay. Palm, ham. Okay. And here you have grison, which is so this favorite. You really have to taste it. It's a bit stronger. Yeah. And then you have so the special, they showed you the special cheese for la raclette. So, so you, what, we cut the borders off. Yeah. And you put it here and then you put it directly into the machine so that it melts. Right. And usually you take the potato, you cut it in two, you put a bit of butter, and then you put the cheese on top and you mix it with the ham and everything. Nice. And the cornichon. What are Pickle. So is that just you or is that actually a part of the tradition? No, it's part of the tradition. Oh, wow. Yeah. This is like a typical yeah. wintery dish. Typical, 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 typical dish for winter. And then also here, like, you can put like, your ham on top. Right. And what you can also do is you can put an egg on top and then you can put it over here. And you can fry the egg in this thing. Oh, nice. Yeah. 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 This is my 
Bah, tu peux pas être Love it. So, Charles, where are we going? So, we are going to Le Péro sur Mar. To go see who? To see my parents. <laughs> like, you have to do that, like, most of, um, most of the people in Paris that are my age don't come from Paris. Okay, come, come from the, the suburbs. suburbs. Yeah, okay. Our family, because we grew up mostly in houses. Right. Uh, and then for career opportunities, you move to Paris. Here's a historical bridge that runs through the neighborhood. It was built in the 1850s and was dynamited by the Germans during the Second World War, but was repaired. Then we have the Island of Wolves over there. There are no actual wolves, but people live on the island and cross the River Marne using small boats. Hey guys! That's Love Island. Anyone up to rent this beautiful home on the river for summer? It's amazing how different the pace of life is in the suburbs, even though by car we're only five minutes away from the hustle and bustle of Paris. Each home has its own personality, and I'm really enjoying this peaceful neighborhood by the river. Clearly your home! I love, love, love the colors! Oh, I see your mama! Shirley Paley's home! I found it! Oh! Hi, Jamie. I'm friends with Shirley. <laughs> Hey, this is he was like, I'm no no. You're okay. Same with me when you saw. Welcome to Shirley's beautiful family. Every week they gather for Sunday lunch. We had such a great time. We bonded. We did it for the gram and paid homage to Beyonce. All the single ladies, 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 all the single ladies. Then we enjoyed lunch together around the table. Home cooked food and great company. What more could I ask for? In France, it's difficult to have salad with cheese after the main meal. And of course, the cherry on top was having Sir Jamie as the head of the table. Then we had a delicious French dessert called crepe, which are thin pancake like treats. You spread your favorite toppings on, like jams, fruits, chocolate, then you roll it up and enjoy. But you gotta be quick before someone steals your creation right from under your nose. <laughs> it does look like <laughs> it. Oh my god! Ah! 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 After two months of traveling throughout Europe, I was exhausted. Although it was my first time in Paris, I didn't want to do any sightseeing or tourist attractions. I just wanted to recharge my batteries. I'd say mission accomplished. I gained a beautiful family, collected amazing memories, and now I'm all charged up. Stay tuned for the final leg of my European adventure, Stuttgart, Germany. Here I come.